Unfortunately, it's very pervasive. It's the default situation in jails and prisons across the country. I think the reason most people haven't heard about it is most people don't know what the policies are inside a, gizen, a prison or jail. Um, and it's actually quite common to transport people outside for medical care and put them in restraints when they're transported. The problem is jails and prisons aren't used to dealing with pregnant women, but increasingly more and more women are going to prison and jail, including pregnant women. Even in California, where there's laws that prevent it, you still have problems in implementation. And again, you're talking about it can be a local jail in a very rural part of a liberal state or you know East Coast state. So um, across the country, it varies. And there's certainly progressive facilities that have great policies and don't do it. But there's nothing um, uniform that mandates how women are treated during incarceration with respect to their pregnancy. The response, and it's pretty ridiculous when you think about it in context, is we have to make sure these inmates don't escape. We have to protect the security and safety of our officers and the public. Um, and, you know, we use restraints when transporting off-site. Often these are women who probably should have been in some alternative to incarcerate, incarceration, some kind of treatment program on probation, unfortunately, given you know, war on drugs and the way law enforcement is proceeding, people are locking up women who really could be in alternative situations. But if they're going to be incarcerated and have to go through their pregnancy while in jail or prison, they need the right medical treatment and the right kind of care, and that doesn't involve physical restraints on a pregnant woman. For more information, go to rhrealitycheck.org.